guys, today I'm going to be talking about why most women want to find a Mr. Darcy. Now, first of all, if you don't know who Mr. Darcy is, then I am sorry that you have missed out on one of the most amazing books of all time, Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice is one of the greatest romance novels ever written. It was written by Jane Austen in 1797, and I think a lot of people are intimidated to read it because it's written in Old English style. However, personally, I think it's more exciting to read something that says, It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife, rather than reading something that says, Rich men often want to get married. So, if you have not read this book, I encourage you to do so because it's amazing. The name of the book describes two of the most important characters. Pride being Mr. Darcy and Prejudice being Elizabeth. At the beginning of this book, we can see that Mr. Darcy is very proud, haughty, and rude. He does not act like a gentleman. In fact, at a party at the beginning, when talking about Elizabeth, he says, She is tolerable, but not handsome enough to tend to me. I am in no humor at present to give consequence to young ladies who are slighted by other men. Later on, he's talking to his friends, and he makes it clear to himself and his friends that she hardly had a good feature in her face. He literally straight up told his friends that Elizabeth was ugly. Throughout the book, we can see that Elizabeth very much despises Mr. Darcy with all her being. But Mr. Darcy decides to propose to Elizabeth. And this is the intense part. I hate to give this away, but it's just great. So first of all, Mr. Darcy comes in the room, and he's walking around like crazy, doesn't know what the heck to say. Elizabeth is like, what is going on? And then he says, in vain I have struggled. It will not do. My feelings will not be repressed. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. Elizabeth is so astonished. She's like, what is going on? This horrible guy that I don't like is proposing to me. She doesn't say anything, and so he continues and says how much he loves her, blah blah blah. He concluded with representing to her the strength of that attachment which, in spite of all his endeavors, he had found impossible to conquer, and with expressing his hope that it would now be rewarded by her acceptance of his hand. So basically, he's telling Elizabeth that she is inferior to him, but he loves her, and so will she marry him. Of course, Elizabeth refuses the proposal. She says, It is natural that obligation should be felt, and if I could feel gratitude, I would now thank you, but I cannot. I have never desired your good opinion, and you have certainly bestowed it most unwillingly. So they have this little argument after his proposal, and she refuses him because he's proud and rude, and of course, why would, why would she marry that person? Later she tells him, why, with so evident a desire of offending and insulting me, you choose to tell me that you liked me against your will, against your reason, and even against your character? You could not have made the offer of your hand in any possible way that would have tempted me to accept it. She tells him that he's too proud and not a gentleman, not a gentleman at all. And so, no, she will not marry this guy. Now, we know that Mr. Darcy is very rich, and he has a lot of money, and he's very handsome. However, Elizabeth refused his offer of marriage because she realizes that he is proud, and she hates him. So why does every girl want a Mr. Darcy? Obviously, Mr. Darcy is proud and rude and selfish. Well, here's the thing. Later on in the story, Elizabeth starts to realize that some of the things she thought about Mr. Darcy was wrong, and he actually turns out to be a gentleman. Elizabeth starts to fall in love with him, but she is kind of sad that she's falling in love with him because she's like, is there one among the sex who would not protest against such a weakness as a second proposal to the same woman? So she's afraid that Darcy's never going to propose to her again, because she already refused him once, and so why would he try doing it again? Well, Mr. Darcy loves Elizabeth and wants to pursue her, and so he does propose again. One day, they are out walking, and they're talking, and he says, If your feelings are still what they were last April, tell me so at once. My affections and wishes have unchanged but one word from you will silence me on this subject forever. So basically he's saying, I still love you, 
but if you still hate me, that's okay. I'll be quiet and shut up. But if your feelings have changed, then tell me at once because I would still like to marry you. And so Elizabeth tells him, yes, my feelings have changed. I do like you because I see that you are a gentleman. And so they get married and live happily ever after. The reason that so many women today want a man like Mr. Darcy is not because he is proud and haughty and rude. It's because he is a true gentleman. He has flaws like everyone and he overcomes them. He goes out of his way to risk everything to propose to this inferior girl, Elizabeth, because he loves her and wants to pursue her, and he gets rejected by her because she is a strong woman and she's mature enough to realize that his pride and her prejudice would not go well in a marriage. But because he still loves Elizabeth, he tries again he wants to pursue her, and that's what every girl wants. Every girl wants a guy that will pursue her. Mr. Darcy changes, and he becomes a gentleman. And when Elizabeth realizes this, and realizes that her own prejudice was probably a bit too far, she decides that Mr. Darcy is amazing. And he is. So, not every girl wants to be proposed to the way Mr. Darcy first proposed to Elizabeth. But every girl wants a Mr. Darcy because she wants to be pursued and she wants to be loved for who she is, but she doesn't want a prideful guy. She wants a gentleman. I just finished an amazing book called How to Find Your Soulmate Without Losing Your Soul by Jason and Christelina Everett. I strongly, strongly suggest that every girl read this book before she starts a relationship, or if she's already in one, she should still read it. This is a great book and has so much good information and I'm going to tell you something that I think is amazing. <clears throat> women are traditionally the gatekeepers of morality. It has been said that if women do not insist on manners, no one else will. Women possess a unique power to shape cultures. When women as a culture expect to be treated with dignity, something remarkable happens. Men discover that they will have to become gentlemen if they wish to enjoy the company of women. This is strongly seen in Pride and Prejudice because Elizabeth does not want to settle for this prideful guy who's in love with her just because he's rich. She expects to be treated like a lady. I mean, when Darcy proposed to her, he was basically saying that you're inferior to me, all this stuff, blah blah blah, but I still want to marry you because I love you. And she's like, no, that's ridiculous. She expects to be treated with dignity and respect. And so when she refuses, that was very mature of her. And it caused Darcy to have his pride hurt in a good way, because then he was able to learn. And he was able to rise to the challenge and be a gentleman so that he could pursue Elizabeth. So this is what every girl wants in a guy. She wants someone who will pursue her, love her, respect her, and treat her with dignity. Because that's what women deserve. They deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. And they deserve to be loved. And so, that's what makes Mr. Darcy a desirable gentleman that every girl should aspire to find.